And I used to say you can't afford the luxury of a negative thought. And then I found out there was a book actually called that. I didn't know that, but it's absolutely true. It's like, do you ever have you ever had that time you sort of luxuriate and you're suffering? You know, probably when you're a teenager, especially, you know, you turn on the love song, you've been rejected by the person that you would really wish they liked you, you know, and and but you kind of like get into it. Like there's almost sort of a little bit of a reward for, for feeling that way because you're validating this thing, this belief you have about what was wrong with you or why, see, I told you that it's always like that. And it's really strange how we will defend to the death, literally our limitations. Have you ever met anyone like that? They will tell you all the reasons, oh no, uh, -uh. no, that can't possibly work for me and I'll tell you why. And they march out all the reasons why, again and again and again, and that's all embedding in their brain. Now, when we become more mindful of this, in our communities and in our interactions this is very important because there's a thing called mirror neurons and we're unconsciously mirroring the actions and energy of those we interact with we the mirror neurons fire when we even observe an action taken by someone else for example if you're walking down the street and someone smiles at you do you smile back most of us do has a sad movie ever made you cry has uh, the feelings and attitudes of others, and especially like in movies and film and stories, get imprinted on our brains too. Think about good energy, we'll call it good energy, positive energy versus negative energy. Our thoughts are energy. 